Hello and welcome to Academic with me, Chris Wood. This is episode zero of Let's Elm. In this series, we're going to make a web app using the Elm programming language. In this video, I'm going to go over the application that we're going to make, and I'm going to show you some of the tools that we need to get started. So we're going to be making an interactive version of a character sheet from a pen and paper role-playing game called Exalted. Now, I appreciate this is pretty nerdy and maybe you're not into that type of thing, but this is actually a really nice problem to start learning Elm with just to give you an idea of what's required of the application. Uh, character sheets in Exalted have multiple different sections. You fill these out in turn during character creation. There's a bunch of rules that, that dictate how you can select particular traits. Um, for example, your attributes, which are your character's physical attributes, how strong they are or how quick-witted they are, for example, as well as our abilities, which is their skills in particular areas. And there's crosstalk between these different things. You need particular attributes to get particular weapons, say, or particular abilities to get particular charms. Or maybe the charms affect your final health levels here. So there's a lot of crosstalk between the different aspects of the character sheet. And this is why it's actually quite a nice target for making a little web app. We can manage some of these things for the players, and so people starting out, it'll take a bit of the burden off them learning to be exalted. So basically, the web app will have a side panel which will keep track of the progress of character creation. It'll indicate the points that you have left to spend in these different categories. And it'll have sections which reflect the different sections in this character sheet. Um, so we'll have sections for attributes, abilities, etc. And we'll have a viewing mode as well, instead of an editing mode, where you'll just see the character sheet that you've made so far. We're going to host the web app on GitHub pages. And further down the line, we're going to make an Electron app so that we can have a desktop version of it that people can share and manage their characters and use the application offline. To start the project, we're going to need a few things. First of all, we'll need the Elm programming language itself. And you just go to elm-lang.org to get that. Uh, click on install, and there's a bunch of installers for our Mac and Windows and an NPM installer as well. And actually, we need Node, so uh, we're going to use Node for the, we need it for the Elm REPL, basically, which we'll use for prototyping and a bunch of different things. As well, we'll need Git for version control and some code editor. Uh, I'm using Visual Studio Code. I really like it. There's some nice plugins for Elm as well. However, there's also plugins for Atom and for any of the JetBrains IDEs, for example. So use whatever you're comfortable with. That's the most important thing. That's it for this episode. It's just a quick introductory one. In the next episode, we're going to get the foundations of the web app sorted out. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more episodes of Let's Elm. Feel free to comment or ask questions below or on Twitter. I'm at Chris Wood. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.